Hey guys, and welcome to Photo Editing 101. This to <laughs> this is a great tutorial. You're gonna really like it. <laughs> As we all know, the photography process doesn't stop when you put down your camera. These days, editing has become a necessary part of photography, and that's why we created Photo Editing 101. It's a professional's guide to the entire workflow, from photo shoot into importing and working in Lightroom, and then sending your images out to Photoshop and taking the entire thing and building it together in one package. You guys are gonna learn professional workflow and how to get the most out of your images. Even if you don't capture them perfectly in camera, we're gonna show you how to rescue details and how to edit images locally to fix certain parts of your photos. You're gonna learn color and exposure correction, so even if you don't take the perfect photo, we can totally fix this in post-production. We're also gonna show you how to remove large objects and even how to do retouching. Photo Editing 101 picks up where Photography 101 left off. You're gonna see new insights into photo shoots and be a part of the entire process from importing all the way to exporting. All right, guys, check out the sneak peek of Photo Editing 101. <laughs> Get that out of my face. <laughs> Hey there and welcome to Photo Editing 101, Chapter 5. Now in this chapter, we're gonna be focusing around a long exposure shot we did with our subject, Taylor. Now let's go ahead and explain how the shot works because everything is actually done in camera, although it looks like we got some special effects going on. So when you look at this photograph, you'll notice we got two things going on. The first is an in-focus, tack-sharp portrait of our subject, Taylor. And the second is a light streak behind and around our subject. So both of these things were captured in camera in the same exposure. So how do we do it? The key behind capturing a photograph like this has to do with the differences between continuous light and strobe light. So let's go ahead and start with continuous light. Now, continuous light basically happens all the time. It's happening right now all around us. It's basically any light that is staying on, like the sun or a lamp that you turn on. It, it happens continuously. Strobe lighting works a little bit different. Strobe lighting, like the light that comes from your flash, if you have a flash on your camera or your smartphone, or you have a DSLR, or if you're using an external flash, you have a burst of light that's very quick, it turns on and then off again. So basically when you combine both of these in the same exposure, you're gonna get different effects. For these photographs, we're shooting with a long shutter speed. We're shooting at one second at f2.8 with a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens. Now, a second long exposure, that's a pretty long exposure. And if you're moving the camera at all during that exposure, your subject's gonna be totally blurry. So that's basically what we have for half of the photograph. While we were actually shooting during this long exposure, I was purposely moving my camera side to side, which is gonna create motion blur in the photograph. Now, if you're only photographing with natural light, you're gonna get a completely blurry photo. So that's where the strobe light comes in. A strobe light, because it happens so quickly, will freeze any motion that you have in your photograph. So the strobe basically has a modeling light on it, which is just a light bulb. Now, as I move my camera around, some of that light's gonna hit our subject and cause some motion blur. Now, at the end of the frame, the flash fires, pop, which freezes our subject in motion. So the combination of using a long shutter speed plus a continuous light source plus a flash light source creates the desired effect. Now this is something that you can do really easily. And in this case, we actually just shot it outside because we wanted our background to be completely dark or that would have been really blurry as well. So you can do this in the studio if you need, but you wanna make sure that it's completely dark inside as well. The way easier thing to do is just photograph this outside, which is what we did. So in this chapter, we're gonna show you how to go through and choose your selects. We're gonna change our exposure as well as color. And we're gonna show you how to remove objects in Lightroom. In this case, we have some big lights in our photographs. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those so we get a pure black background. We got a great chapter, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Photo Editing 101. If you want to learn more, head over to flurn.com. With your pro membership, you get access to the rest of this four-hour tutorial, as well as every single pro tutorial we've ever created. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Uh, uh, I don't want to. What? Hey, guys, welcome to Photo Editing 101. <laughs>